this channel here is making around 2700 to around 47000 pounds every month which is equivalent to around $3000 to $51 a month. They do this by generating simple songs for kids. If this is something that interests you in this video I will share with you a simple workflow where you can generate similar songs using AI. For this you will need three AI tools. One is ChatGPT to come up with the songs. Two is Suno AI to generate the AI AI music and three it's Canva to put together your visuals for the video and if you're not familiar with any of these tools they're simple to use you just have to understand how to use them to write the song we'll head over to ChatGPT. if you don't have a paid version you should be able to achieve the same thing using GPT 3.5 which is the free version for this I'll enter a simple prompt write a children educational song teaching alphabetical letters using fruits as an example make it fun and I'll press enter and here we go I have the song that I need it's generating and we have A is for apple so sweet and so red and so on for all the 26 letters that we need and now that we have our song completed we can head over to Suno AI to generate our song and this tool is mind-blowing to start generating the song using AI you will need to go to Suno.ai once you've signed up it should bring you to this page here on the explore section is where you will find other creators songs on create that's exactly where you need to go to start generating the songs and on the library section that's where you will find your previously generated song but for this video we'll go straight to create essentially there's three ways to generate a song you can describe the song click on create and Suno AI will write the lyrics and compose the song for you and the other options is you can turn on custom mode and in here you'll find two options one of them you can click on generate and it will generate for you a lyrics all you have to do is to describe the type of music you want the other option is to get ChatGPT to write the lyrics and then you copy and paste them describe the style of your song and create for us since we've generated the lyrics from chat GPT that's what we're gonna use we're gonna go back on chat GPT we'll copy and paste the song go back on Suno and paste it on the style of music we'll put children educational music we'll click on create and as you can see the songs are already generating we have two songs that have been generated which is good because you get an option to choose which one that you like song one Sweet and so red. B is for banana, the fruit that I've fed. C is for cherry, all juicy and round. Awesome, too. In this case I'll choose this one because I like this one better and if you don't like any of the songs that you've generated all you have to do is keep generating until you find something that you like as you can see I've been having a field day with it once you've got the song that you like to download the song all you have to do is click on this three buttons here and you've got a download option here you've got an option to download a video but when it says a video it will just be a download but then it will have this image with it and for the audio all you have to do is click that and start downloading and we're ready to move on to the next step which is creating the video once you signed up for canva all you have to do is to come and click on create design and select video and once you're here the first thing that you have to think about is the background for your video if you go to elements and type in cartoon backgrounds what i like to do i like to find the videos because they've got a bit of the animation on it if you find something like this and you extend the screen and there you go you got your background all right so now the next thing that you need to do you need to make the video align to what your song is about for example for me i'll just go back on chat gpt and my song starts with a is for apple i'll just go back on canva and i'll type in cartoon apple and i'll go to graphics 
and as you can see i've got so many different graphics of apples that i can choose and work with the first thing i'll do i'll click on that i'll just make it a bit larger and i'll put it there and because you want to make it fun and you want to animate it all you have to do is to click on this animate button and click on create animation now you just need to drag the graphic and move it the way you want it to move and just like that the animation is moving and just to make sure we've got a little bit more going going on here i'll go back on elements and i'll find a small a and a big a and i'll put it there you could add another text and add the word apple make it a bit larger by just increasing the size using these little buttons here and when you've got it the way you want it to be just position it where you want it again we can animate this one as well i'll click on animate again create an animation and i'll just move it the way i want it to move on the video so you can have a little bit more going on there you go another thing you could do you could animate this word as well again click on animate create animation and we could just add a bit of movement there and if you think the animations are moving a bit too much all you have to do is select the animation that you want to affect which is this one and you can choose the movement style so you can leave it as original or you can leave it as smooth or steady so i'll put a smooth and i'll reduce the speed for it a little bit and i'll do the same thing for this one as well i'll leave it smooth reduce the speed a little bit and i'll do the same thing here as well leave it smooth and reduce the speed a little bit and see that how that goes so for me to see that all i have to do is click play and as you can see the movements have slowed down a little bit all right so that's the first one that we've got done so the alphabet is going like 26 letters if i go back on canva i'll put the on 10 seconds and all i have to do is click on this button and i'll duplicate that page and then i'll delete this elements if i go back on chat gpt my next one is b is for banana so i go back on canva and i go back on elements again and this time i'm looking for a cartoon banana there you go i've got that so from here you've got a few choices that you could choose from but i'll choose this one i'll click on it i'll put it here i reduce the size for it and i'll come back here again i'll look for the little bees again which is this one i'll put it here i'll make it a bit smaller and i'll go back on text and i'll click on this and i'll add the word banana and i'll just make it a bit larger and then once i have all of that i can start animating again i'll go back on animating create animation same thing we done for the other one and then now we can do this one we'll do the same thing again just make it move a little bit and we'll do that for the word again and i'll do the same thing smooth reduce the speed i'll do smooth again and reduce the speed as you can see here now i have the a the b i saved you a bit of time i went and completed all the 26 letters i added all the animation i also added another page at the front which is for the intro of the song i added the little fruits that we're gonna have in all the separate slides the next thing that you need to do you need to work on the transition click this little section here and you can choose how you want your pages to transition from one to another and as you can see you've got different ones here and for this i'll just choose this one flow it also gives you the option to do you want them to transition up do you want them to transition down i'll leave them on that you can apply all the pages so you don't have to do all the little transitions separate you can also choose the duration of your transitions if you click on this and you go back here you'll see 1.5 you can set how many seconds you want your transitions to be for me i'll put the lowest one there is which is one second and i'll apply that to all the pages and the last section of this what we have to do we have to upload the audio come here click and upload upload and click on that and it should take you to the file that you need to upload but for me i've already uploaded it so i'm just gonna click here and i'll bring it straight there now we have to edit this and make it align to all the slides we've got the intro page i'll play <laughs>
A is starting from this section here. We could click on where the intro for the song finishes and I'll right click here and I'll split the audio. What I need to do now is to have our intro slide aligned to our intro audio and for that I'll click on this little duration here. It should allow me to drag it to exactly where I want to drag it which is where the split is and I have it there. So if I play again, I play from the center to save you time. A is for apple, so sweet and so nice. So B starts from here. We just have to split the audio again. And now we have to work on the slide and make sure it matches the audio that we've split, which seems to be there. All right, so now if I play again from here, we should be able to tell the difference. A is for apple, so sweet and so red. B is for banana, the fruit that I fed. C is for cherry. We'll do the same thing. C starts from there. And then the same thing again. I'll just split that and make sure that it's aligned. And by the looks of it, I think it's aligned. So I'll play it. And C is for cherry. All juicy and round. D is for dragon. We're here now. We're where the dragon is. D is for dragon. Again, I'll split it again. And then I'll play the C is for dragon. The treasure I've found. D is E starts from there. If I split this again, all right, so we'll just drag this back and make it align to the new audio that we've just split, which is there. And if I put it here and listen to that again, it should be. B is for dragon fruit, the treasure I've found. E is for elderberry. All right, I went ahead and completed the song. I followed the exact same process that I've shown you. And like I said, generating videos like this is not hard. It's just understanding how to do it. And the video should be playing right after this. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please don't forget to give me that like. Don't forget to subscribe for some more videos like this. Until next time, my name is Abigail. So sweet and so red. B is for banana, the fruit that I fed. C is for cherry, all juicy and round. D is for dragon fruit, the treasure I've found. E is for elderberry, dark and divine. F is for fig, like a sweet ancient wine. G is for grape, hanging lush on the vine. H is for honeydew, summer sweet sign. I is for Rita Palm, exotic and rare. J is for jackfruit, with flavor to spare. K is for kiwi, with a bright tangy zest. L is for lemon, the zestiest best. A is for mango, so juicy and sweet. N is for nectarine, a succulent tree. O is for orange, so shining up here. D is for pineapple, the king of the fields. Q is for quince, a hidden delight. R is for raspberry, red and so bright. A tart tree. S is for strawberry, a springtime dream. T is for tangerine with a citrusy bean. So vibrant. U is for ugly fruit, odd but yummy. V is for vanilla bean, sweet as any honey. So chic. W is for watermelon, cool and fine. So X is for exy but that's watermelon's line. Just in time. Y is for yellow passion fruit, tart and divine. Z is for zucchini, yes it's a fruit on the 